Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of fungal infections and a medication called tabinophen. But this isn't just your typical medical breakdown. We're here to explore the fascinating science behind tabinophen, how it works, its magic, and why it has a zero tolerance policy for its boozy counterpart, alcohol. Fungal infections. The name alone can conjure up images of unpleasant itching, stubborn rashes, and maybe even a trip to the doctor. But fear not, knowledge is power. And by the end of this video, you'll be armed with the facts about terbenafine, how it fights these unwelcome fungal foes, and why it deserves a solo act in your medicine cabinet, at least for a while. So, what exactly are fungal infections? Imagine microscopic hitchhikers taking up residence on your skin, nails, or even scalp. These unwelcome guests are fungi, and they can cause a variety of issues, from athlete's foot and jock itch to ringworm and nail fungus. While not life-threatening, they can definitely be a nuisance. But how do these fungal freeloaders even get there? Well, the answer is a little bit everywhere. Fungi love warm, moist environments, so places like sweaty socks, locker room floors, and even swimming pools can be breeding ground. Even minor cuts or abrasions can provide an entry point for these persistent hitchhikers. Thankfully, science has gifted us with terbinafine, a powerful antifungal medication. But how exactly does this little capsule work its wonders? Terbinafine disrupts the fungal cell wall, essentially dismantling their brick and mortar defenses. Without these walls, Fungi become vulnerable and can't grow or spread. It's like kicking them out of their unwelcome apartments and then shutting down the whole building. Turbinafine comes in two forms. Tablets and granules. The tablets are typically swallowed whole, while the granules might be sprinkled on food or mixed with liquids. The medication typically needs to be taken for at least a few weeks, depending on the severity of the infection. Patience is key here. Just like winning a battle, defeating a fungal foe requires persistence. Now, here's where things get interesting. Tabinafine, while a champion against fungus, has a sworn enemy, alcohol. You see, both tabinafine and alcohol love the same organ, the liver, liver. The liver is our body's detox center, working tirelessly to break down toxins and waste products. But when tabinafine and alcohol team up, it's like overloading the system. The liver gets overworked and can become damaged. This damage can manifest in several ways. You might experience nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, or even develop jaundice, a condition that causes your skin and eyes to turn yellow. In severe cases, liver failure can occur. So, remember, when it comes to terbinafine, it's a solo mission. No boozy companions allowed. Winning the war against fungal infections requires a multi-pronged approach. Here are some additional tips to support the terbinafine troops. Maintain good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently and keep the infected area clean and dry. Wear breathable shoes and socks. This helps prevent moisture buildup, a fungal party favor they love. Don't share personal items. Sharing towels, shoes, or combs can unknowingly spread the infection. Sunshine is your friend. Fungi tend to shy away from sunlight. Exposing the infected area to sunlight can help inhibit their growth. Sunscreen is still your best friend to prevent burns while healing. Limit caffeine. While caffeine won't directly sabotage your treatment, it can put additional stress on the liver. Play it safe and switch to decaf while terbinafine is doing its work. These simple habits create an inhospitable environment for fungi helping to prevent reinfection and making terbinafine even more effective. Did you know that terbinafine is a relatively recent addition to our medicinal arsenal? It was first developed in the early 1990s, and Europe started using it in 1991. It took a few more years for the drug to make its way across the pond, with the FDA approving it for adults in the United States in 1996. While it's commonly prescribed now, it was only in 2007 that the FDA also approved terbinafine for children as young as four years old. Now for a sensitive but essential topic, depression. Terbinafine itself can sometimes worsen feelings of sadness, melancholy, and despair. 
This potential side effect is important to be aware of, especially if you already struggle with mental health challenges. On the other hand, alcohol is a well-known depressant. Combining the two while you're battling both a fungal infection and low mood can be a recipe for a downward spiral. If you struggle with depression, talk to your doctor about potential side effects and discuss strategies for maintaining your mental well-being while on turbinifine. And remember, there's absolutely no shame in seeking help. It's worth noting that, thankfully, most people tolerate turbinifine very well. However, there's always that small chance of rarer side effects. Keep an eye out for nausea and vomiting. While not everyone experiences this, it can be a sign your body needs a break. Skin rash or hives, this could signal an allergic reaction. Flu-like symptoms. Fever, tiredness and body aches could mean your immune system is working overtime with a medication, changes in taste or smell. This side effect is less common but not unheard of. If you experience any of these or any other unusual symptoms, contact your doctor immediately. It's better to be safe and catch any potential issues early on. While terbinafine focuses mostly on external fungal infections, let's take a quick detour into the gut. Studies show that alcohol can fuel the growth of bacteria and fungus in our digestive system. So, while it might not directly worsen athlete's foot or ringworm, that boozy beverage can compromise your body's ability to fight off infections in general. Plus, if you keep fueling fungal growth inside while battling it outside, that's a recipe for a long and frustrating battle. If you're already using turbinafine, why not use the opportunity to give your body a complete recovery break? If you're currently taking any other medications, prescription or over the counter, always check with your doctor before starting turbinafine. Certain drugs can interact negatively with it. Here's a quick list of meds to discuss with your doctor. Birth control pills. Nausea and vomiting induced by terbinafine can interfere with the absorption of your birth control. Blood thinners. Terbinafine can increase the risk of bleeding. Beta blockers. Be mindful of combined effects on blood pressure. This list isn't exhaustive. It's crucial to give your doctor a complete picture of your current medications to avoid unwanted surprises. Congratulations! You are now a member of the well-informed team fighting the good fight against fungal infection. Remember, knowledge is power. Let's recap. Turbinafine is a powerful weapon against fungal infections, but it needs your help. Ditch the alcohol while you're on the medication. Practice excellent hygiene for added protection. If you experience any unusual side effects, contact your doctor immediately. Be open with your doctor about any existing medications you take. Now it's your turn. Have you ever experienced a fungal infection? Did you know about the dangers of mixing turbinafine and alcohol? Let me know in the comments below. Your questions are always welcome. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more health and science content. And finally, remember your body is amazing and deserves to be treated with care. So when those pesky fungal foes appear, be armed with knowledge, treat yourself right, and you'll emerge victoriously. Take care and keep being curious.